Online learning has become increasingly popular over the last few years, but for some students, the limited interactions with materials make picking up new concepts difficult. Thankfully, this isn't a problem if you have iSpring Sweet Max. In this video sponsored by iSpring, I'll show you how to use the e-learning software to build interactive and engaging courses in PowerPoint. Slide decks are valuable tools for learning. You can take their usefulness to the next level with the iSpring Suite features we'll go over today. Audio and video narration, iSpring Suite interactions, video lessons and screencasts, and quizzes. Before we dive into these great features, I gotta show you how easy it is to make awesome slides in PowerPoint with iSpring Suite. Thanks to the deep content library, you won't need to make courses from scratch, which saves you time. With iSpring Suite selected in the ribbon, Click on slide templates from the content library group. There are hundreds of course templates already available, and they're made with specific topics in mind. Click on any of the built-in slide designs, then click insert to add them to your presentation. That's easy, right? Adding characters, backgrounds, objects, and icons is just as simple. Now that you see how built-in design elements can change the look of your presentation, let's see how iSpring Suite's features transform a simple slide deck into an interactive course. Let's start with narration. If you want to give personalized instruction, head to the narration group in iSpring Suite. There you'll see three options. The first two are record audio and record video. With record audio, you can record your narration and record video lets you record your narration with webcam footage. When you're done, you can make adjustments and edits to your audio with the Manage Narration option. It's a fully featured editor that's embedded in the iSpring software. Interactivity is key to making engaging courses. This can be added to your presentation when you click on Interaction within the Insert section. After clicking New Interaction, you'll see a number of options across four categories. Process, Annotation, Hierarchy, and Catalog. Use these interactions to avoid making cluttered and confusing layouts for your courses. They will also help your audience better understand new ideas and complex concepts. For this tutorial, I'm going to select Steps as my interaction. This will give me clickable steps on a single slide. A new window pops up, and as you can see, creating steps is easy. Clicking Save and Return to Course adds my new interaction to the course. Instead of a stream of endless bullet points, I just created an engaging set of steps for an audience to follow with me or at their own pace. Watching concepts as they're taught is a valid learning style. Reach those visual learners by creating video lessons and screencasts with iSpring Suite. Along with an audio editing suite, a video design suite is included in the program too. Click on screen recording within the insert section to get started. Once you click new recording, you can adjust the recording area by dragging the corners of the new pop-up frame. There are other recording settings that can be adjusted too. You'd be surprised at the amount of features built into this video suite. You can add shapes, titles, images, and more all without needing other software. There are annotations if you want to highlight different areas of your recording, and transitions for smoothly moving on to a new idea. Measuring progress is fundamental to seeing how well students grasp a concept. This is another area you can use iSpring Suite for. With the quiz feature, you can create interactive online assessments of all types. Click Quiz from the Insert section, then create a graded quiz. When you go to insert a new question, you'll see all the options available to you. I'm going to choose multiple choice for this tutorial, but you can check out the other question types on your own. Click Save and Return to Course to save your changes. These quizzes can be published so that learners can take these assessments. You'll then be able to track their results, provide instant feedback, and more. Are you all done with setting up your course? Then publish it online. Click on Publish to share your new course to iSpring Space for learners to access. iSpring Suite Max takes PowerPoint to a whole new level. 
It's a powerful tool that can turn simple slideshows into full-scale interactive courses that learners can take at their own pace. Follow the link in the description to download iSpring Suite Max today.